Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ayub and welcome to this first video from the Web Dev Cave. In this tutorial, we will talk about the internet and the web. What are they, how they work, and how they are distinct from each other. But first, let's go back to the old days. Now, this is not history class, don't be afraid, but a little bit of background will help us to understand the evolution process down the road and to better get the concepts. In the 1960s, Advanced Research Projects Agency, also known as ARPA, of the US Department of Defense funded a research to develop protocols to allow their computers to interconnect with each other using digital communication, regardless of the geographical area. Therefore, the first network, a research network, was created. The network was used for academic and scientific purposes. It started small, connecting a bunch of connected university campuses, research institutions, and companies. The network grew to a few hundred by the early 80s. At the same time, other networks were being created using other protocols. We'll cover networking and protocols in much more details in other videos. But for now, let's talk just about networks and the internet. As I said, other networks were being created using other protocols. Networks such as X25, Usenet, and others. But down the road, a problem raised. People who were using these networks wanted to interconnect with each other by connecting the networks together. And in order to successfully interconnect, networks must use the exact same protocols. This problem led to the invention of a global unique suite of protocols called TCP IP, thus the advent of the internet. Well, let's talk about the internet. The internet is a sort of a nickname of a global internetwork. Now let's stop here and see what is a network. A network is a group of computer systems, two or more, interconnected together for the sake of communicating and exchanging data using links. These computer systems, whether they are laptops, desktops, smartphones, TVs, cars, etc., are called, in terms of the network, nodes. These nodes establish connections between them using either cable media or wireless media. So this is what we mean by a network. Now. The internet simply, as we said, is a global network of networks. Networks that are either private, public, academic, of business or government. Actually, there are millions of interconnected networks out there. And that's what makes the internet a global network. All what we have here is a global network, namely just interconnected computers via cables or wireless media using the global TCP IP suite of protocols. To take advantage of this huge network and make use of it, Many internet services have been created and engineered, such as mobile apps, electronic mail, file sharing, the World Wide Web, online games, internet telephony, etc. So, all these services are built on top of the internet, thus, they are a part of it. For now, this is all what you have to know about the internet, unless you want to dig into the networking world, and of course, I'll cover more things in the next videos. Let's see then, what is the World Wide Web or simply the web? The World Wide Web is probably the most commonly used service on the internet, allowing people to search, get and share data. Therefore, it's the most influential application in this world. To be more specific, the web is a sort of virtual system that interconnects resources on the internet, such as documents, images, videos, and many other resources via hyperlinks and referenced with URIs, Uniform Resource Identifier. We use web browsers such as Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, and other similar programs to have access to web resources. Usually those resources are presented in web pages, sometimes in structured interrelated group of web pages called websites. Web pages are created using HTML for structuring the page, CSS to style it, usually to give it a nice look, and we use scripting languages to add interactivity to the web page and make it more user friendly. We still have a lot to cover, but in this video, we just try to differentiate the internet from the web. So to sum up, we've seen that the internet is a global network of networks and that the network is a group of interconnected computer systems. We have also seen that we make use of the internet by building on top of its services such as the World Wide Web, file sharing, emailing, etc. Also, the web is a system of interconnected resources, resources that are presented in the web using web pages or websites. To access these web pages or websites, we use web browsers. I hope you have found this video useful and that you've learned something from it. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Tell 
the next video. Stay tuned.